up guys ethan okay venture here today i'm gonna put some temp queen inside my mating nuclei or nukes as everybody knows them as these are new setup than i've done in the past i'm totally going a whole different route uh, it's a little bit different and i'm i'm doing something like really old school style like 1800 1900s where no frames just letting the bees do their thing in a little box now what i'm doing is i'm putting temp queen in these i had uh, an issue with some of my queen cells i had one hatch early and tear down half of them so half these boxes don't have queens in them this temp queen is going to hold the bees in there and keep them from going laying workers so if there's no brood in these boxes they'll go laying workers within a week or two and Putting another queen cell in there is basically zero after that. Now this temp queen has got queen queen mandibular pheromone inside of it. It's just a little rubber tube. And what I'm going to do, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but they're about three inches long. About three inches long, and I'm going to cut these in half and then staple a piece of this into the box. And this right here will last, you know, 12 months. Probably even longer. I'm going to see how long they'll last without having to buy more. Because these are super expensive for what they are. I think it's uh, five bucks for two of them, which is outrageous. I got a pack of ten here, and I'm going to cut them all in half. There's, I've got 20 boxes, uh, 20 little mating nuclei. So I'm going to cut these in half and put one in each one of these and staple them in there. I'm going to cut all these in half. And it makes about inch and a quarter, inch and a half little section. Okay, and then next step is we're going to take this little nuke, there's the bees in it, and then flip it over, get a little queen pheromone, oh that didn't staple good, what's up with that? There you go. Table it on there. Get everybody back down in there. And there's that one. Pretty easy peasy. Let's show you one more. Oh, these got comb. Wow. Look at there. This is the comb. Isn't that cool? That's really cool, huh? Now, there is queens in these, these two right here. There are virgin queens that I dropped in here. Put that one right there. Look how they're acting with that smell. See them? They're like queen. Cool. Okay, leave them to it. Okay guys, I'd like to give a little bit of more description on the queen bee mandibular pheromone. Queen bees produce a variety of pheromones, including the mandibular pheromone. The mandibular gland of the queen bee produces a pheromone that acts as a chemical signal to other bees in the hive. The pheromone plays a key role in regulating behavior and maintaining social order within the colony. The mandibular pheromone is comprised of a mixture of chemicals including 9-ODA and 10-HDA. These chemicals help to suppress the development of ovaries in worker bees and maintain their role as non-reproductive helpers within the hive. They also stimulate the production of queen cells, which are specialized cells that are used to raise new queens in the colony. The queen bee's mandibular pheromone is essential for the proper functioning of the hive, and it plays a critical role in regulating the behavior of other bees. It helps to maintain the social order and ensure that the colony is functioning efficiently. 
The pheromone is also used by beekeepers to manipulate the behavior of bees and manage their hives more effectively. Look how they act when they smell that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they start fanning. Yep. They smell that queen pheromones. They immediately go to fanning. It's really interesting. Alright, these are some new mating nukes. Uh, I had a lot of issues with my queen cells, so this team queen should hold these bees in this box. They should draw out some comb. They shouldn't go lay in workers. So I've already started another round of queen cells. I believe, let's see, today's the 21st, the 27th, I think it is. I'll pull them. And there should be comb in here, and these bees should be ready to accept some new queens. So I'll put these in, and I believe the 7th of May, they should be mated. So. Be, it's a really quick process, but got all these set up now with some temp queen. Pretty easy setup. Cut it in half, staple it in. Easy peasy. Uh, only had one upscound, which is pretty awesome. You know, most people say you get 20-30% scound rate. Only had that one, and I think what had happened was the front of that nuke, uh, the little piece had spun, and they all escaped right after I dumped them in there the first night. So, uh, out of these, I believe those two. I think I have four with queens in them and then these other five with cells. I don't know if they'll hatch or not, but we'll see. Keep you guys updated on the process. Like and subscribe. Get out there and start an adventure.